All right, so as I mentioned before, the parts finally came in for the Supra. So we're gonna go ahead and unbox those. I do wanna show you guys what I ordered because this is a huge and crucial part to the whole Supra build. And I know that a lot of you guys have been anticipating and kind of wondering like what's going on with that, especially because I don't really keep you guys updated. I don't really say anything about it. Nonetheless, we finally got some parts for the car. Let's go ahead and unbox it. Before we continue on with this video, but I do want to give a huge and quick shout out to Mo over at Real Street Performance because he's been helping me out for about the past two years since the Supra went into construction. And I took a huge break because for a while the Supra was on pause. Got back into it recently, got connected with him again, and I mean it's just been unbelievable service. The dude is just an absolute G. Huge shout out to Mo over at Real Street Performance. Let's get into the turbo kit. So the turbo and the wastegate that usually come with the kit, I actually already had because I had purchased it with Real Street Performance way back in the day. Basically, it was kind of like the best deal for me to go ahead and pull the trigger on those parts. By doing so, I actually saved quite a bit of money. I was able to go ahead and get a discount on the turbo and the wastegate, and it also helped me with the price later on in the future, like now, when I bought the rest of the kit. I'm gonna go ahead and lay everything out that the kit comes with. So for those of you who are planning to go ahead and go single swap on your two JZs or single swap in your Supra, you guys can go ahead and see what this kit has to offer. Now, disclaimer, the kit is technically only like a bolt-on and direct fit for a Mark IV Supra. So if you guys have a 2JZ that is going into something else, you guys could buy the kit, but most of the parts probably are not gonna go ahead and fit. And by that, I mean like the intercooler piping and the downpipe and other stuff like that. Cause there are certain like specific things that Powerhouse Racing goes ahead and makes like custom to order. If you guys are planning on going this route, please make sure you guys go ahead and contact Powerhouse Racing and make sure that they know what you're going ahead and putting it into. If you have a Supra, just go ahead, add it to your cart, and go single turbo. So, straight off the bat, like I said, all this is like messed up because I unboxed it yesterday. All right, so the first thing that comes out of the box is a 46 millimeter precision turbo wastegate. I don't have it properly set up right now, but it will once everything goes on. Next thing that's gonna be in the box, this is personally one of my favorite things to go ahead and get, is gonna be this downpipe. I think the coolest thing about this is that it actually bolts up to the stock exhaust on the Supra. So it has the three flange, or three bolt flange on the bottom, and that literally lines up with your stock exhaust. So if you have a Mark IV Supra, and you know, you get the single turbo, it comes with everything. Um, so it has the V-band clamp and the V-band up here that connects to the back of the turbo and then that'll connect to your stock exhaust. I, don't, I didn't have a stock exhaust on mine, I actually had a Catless downpipe, but I'll be able to use that once everything is back in order. So I'm super, super pleased with how this turned out because these TIG welds on this thing, the TIG welds on this thing are absolutely insane. Let me see if I can get this to focus up. There you go. So the TIG welds on this thing are absolutely gorgeous and um, this guy is probably what took the kit so long to go ahead and arrive is because these guys are made custom to order. I mean, with a kit that expensive, I don't really think, you know, it makes sense for them to have and be having those laying around. So definitely one of my favorite parts of the kit. Next up, we got the intercooler piping. So they give it to you, they give you intercooler piping for only one side. So this is gonna be from, for the, uh, from the turbo to the intercooler, but the intercooler to your intake manifold that you have to figure out on your own. So luckily I had a front mount intercooler on my Supra before I went single turbo, so I had it for the for the uh, twin turbo setup. And so I have all the piping basically that I need and this is all for the turbo to the intercooler and I already have the intercooler to the intake. So pretty much all set. But these guys, you have options for these. You can go ahead and get them powder coated. I didn't want to get them powder coated. just because I didn't really feel like paying extra, if I'm being completely honest with you guys, but it's definitely a good idea to go ahead and get them powder coated, that way they can you know, resist heat a little bit more. But yeah, there is always that option with Real Street Performance or with Powerhouse Racing. So the next things are gonna be your oil feed and oil return line. This oil return line is freaking massive. That's what she said. Honestly, this is like my first time ever experiencing like AN fittings with like 
steel braided lines. So when I saw these guys, like I saw this one and I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. And then I saw this big boy and I was like, God damn. I haven't taken anything out of the packaging just yet because obviously like I want to keep everything secure until I'm ready to go ahead and install it at the top of this. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it comes with some adapters. So you don't have to do any welding or any tapping and dying into the block because it comes with everything that you need, all the hardware. It literally is just, it bolts right up. So Powerhouse Racing really went out of their way to make this literally like a bolt-in kit. All right, so next thing up is gonna be this huge air intake filter. You can get these at O'Reilly, but it's pretty cool that they include these already. It's a K&N air filter. I've already kind of uh, bent mine a little bit just because I kept messing around with it. But as you can see, this thing's pretty huge and it's pretty dope that they include it. This is another part. This is, so this is for the uh, for that intake. So this, with this guy, with this coupling, it uh, goes onto your turbo and then the air filter goes on to here. I've always wanted one of these. Every time I've seen like single turbo Supras, like I was always like, dude, those things are so sick. They look so dope. So I'm really, really happy that I finally have one. I will probably send this to get uh, powder coated at some point just because, I mean, it's cool. It's a nice aluminum finish, but you know, nothing's cooler than having one of these guys painted up. One of the cooler pieces that are in this kit is the turbo manifold. So if you look at this, Compared to the one that I used to have, uh, the one with the twin wastegate, twin scroll, everything, this is a lot more of a simple design. But honestly, like this is really all you need if you're going to be going single turbo. The flange at the bottom for your uh, for your wastegate, so your wastegate connects here at the bottom. Obviously, these will connect onto the exhaust side, and then your T4 is just on the opposite side of that. So this is literally everything that you need to go ahead and get it done. It is a cast iron manifold, so because of that, this thing is capable about 900 horsepower, maybe a little bit more, depending on what mods you have. But as you guys know, cast iron is basically what most of the 2JZ is built out of. So with your supporting mods, I'm pretty sure you can see some pretty high horsepower in your Supra or 2JZs with something as simple as this. We got another one of my little favorite parts with some nice TIG welds on it. This is gonna be your dump tube for your wastegate. All right, and the part that everybody's been waiting for, I've shown this on my channel before, but if you get the kit, you're also gonna get one of these big boys. This is a ball bearing Precision 6266 turbo. According to a lot of reviews and everything, it's like the perfect street build turbo. Same thing, you could have had it powder coated on the back side because uh, the exhaust side is, you know, cast iron, so I do have a little bit of surface rust that I need to go ahead and clear up just before I mount it onto the car. I don't know, I still have to see. I am thinking about just getting a turbo blanket for it, if I'm being completely honest, but this is essentially what you would get with this kit. Once again, you do have the option, you do have the choice. You can go ahead and get a ball bearing, you can get a journal bearing, you can change the size. You just have to make all those adjustments or you know preferences with Real Street Performance or Powerhouse Racing. Everything that comes with the kit is right here. This is everything. You have all of your hardware, your oil return, your feed lines, more hardware, adapters, or wastegate, downpipe, intercooler piping, air intake filter, or like the pipe that goes to the air intake filter. You got your exhaust manifold, your turbo, your dump tube, your couplings, some more hardware, your hose, and another little baby air filter so you can vent your crankcase pressure out into the atmosphere. I'm super excited at the fact that it comes with everything that is needed. Well, I can't thank Powerhouse Racing enough for making such an awesome and dope kit. I mean, it literally comes with everything that you need to go ahead and swap your Supra over to be single turbo. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys around the 2JZ real quick, just so you guys can see what I have on my build already. And uh, right after that, we're just gonna go ahead and start getting some stuff installed. So without further ado, let's go around it. So this is her. This is my Notorious 2JZ GTE. I have some Powerhouse Racing cam gears. These Powerhouse Racing cam gears, in my opinion, are probably some of the nicest freaking cam gears you can find in the game right now, which is one of the reasons why I went with them. It's just such a simple colorway, but they just look so, so good. Front end is basically all the same. I have an OEM uh, oil pump, OEM water pump. I have a pulley connected right now to this one with uh, one nut, but I'm actually going to be removing that pulley because I have a new set of pulleys thanks to a good friend of mine named Michael he actually sent over some pulleys uh, for the 2JZ so I'm actually very very excited to go ahead and get those on one of the later modifications that I'm gonna be doing to the valve covers I'm actually gonna be removing these guys uh, to go ahead and replace them with some that have a n fittings because I'm gonna go ahead and put that onto a catch can I also have some shortened titanium exhaust studs that I got from
from Bear Boost Performance and huge shout out to them for hooking me up with these guys for a fairly good price. Makes a huge difference for anybody who's going single turbo. When I had my old exhaust manifold mounted up on this guy, these exhaust studs made it so much easier to go ahead and get it installed. One thing that is definitely gonna change as well is gonna be this guy. So this is the oil return line for the twin turbo setup. You can see here that one would go in the direction of the back turbo. This one would go to the direction of the front one. Now with the kit, if I could find it here, yeah, it's right here. So this guy is actually gonna go ahead and bolt up to where this would bolt up, and that's how we would connect our AN return line to the turbo. So we'll go ahead and see that later on in this video once I go ahead and start installing it, but you guys are gonna see the difference between what would have been for the twin turbo compared to now the single. On the intake side, we have a stock intake manifold with a fuel injection clinic, fuel rail, and some fuel injection clinic injectors which are also some of my favorite looks on the 2JZ. These guys are 1200 cc injectors and they run all the way to the back and they just look really good overall. Some of you guys may be asking well what about the internals? I have 9 to 1 compression ratio uh, Carrillo pistons. I have H beam Brian Crower forged rods. Stage 2 264 cams by Brian Crower as well. Titanium valve springs and retainers. The crankshaft is OEM just because the crankshaft already comes forged from factory. Most of the stuff on a 2JZ GTE come forged from factory, but I wanted everything to be fresh just because the engine and the car had 186,000 miles when I pulled the engine out. So I decided to just go ahead and ball out and uh, basically go at it. I have Clevite race bearings, Clevite rod bearings. Everything on the inside of the engine was done. There is nothing that was left untouched. Everything was taken care of. So that is pretty much the gist of it. I am by no way means a professional, but I was kind of looking it up on YouTube and trying to get some like research on like other people who have done this kit. And I noticed that nobody else has really done an install video or anything like that. That's basically the point of this video is to just kind of go ahead and give this kit a review, see how easy it is, and give you guys an idea of what you guys are getting yourself into when you purchase this kit. So, I genuinely believe I just took the fattest L of my life. You guys are watching this video end this way because I've gotten around to finally sitting down and taking the time to edit the video and realized that my SD card ran out of memory midway through the install on the 2JZ. Ridiculous, right? I know, I know, I know. I just, I just took the fattest L of my life. I'm telling you guys, I just took, it's ridiculous, bro. I am so pissed off because the kit is literally like installed on the 2JZ already. So realistically, I could go to the 2JZ and kind of show you guys and just show you around and tell you guys like, oh, this is what I did, but I don't want to do that. I want to make a like well-informed, like this is how you do it step-by-step -step type of video. So I'm going to go ahead and make a part two to this video today and I will be uploading it soon. I'm actually gonna go and record it today so I'm gonna go ahead and basically take off everything that I put on. I'm gonna lay everything out again, set up my camera, SD card has full capability of memory now, everything's erased so we are good to go. I will go ahead and make this video and give you guys a part two of the install. I am so sorry I have to end it this way guys. You guys can go ahead and roast me in the comments. Um, it is what it is, I will be recording that install video later today so please, Stay tuned for that, and then as soon as it's all finished up, I'm gonna come inside and edit it and get it uploaded for you guys because I know that a few of you guys have been anticipating it, especially those of you guys who uh, I've seen like my posts on the super pages on Facebook. So if you haven't already, please go ahead and like the video. Make sure you subscribe, drop a comment. Let me know down below what you guys think of the kit so far, and if you guys have any questions, I will do my best to go ahead and answer them. And this is where we're gonna end the video. So I'll catch you guys in the next one in part two of the install. Peace out, stay tuned, until next time.